Iranian Revolutionary Guard General says Muslims will blindfold American soldiers and diplomats and hang them from trees, declaring that the motivation to attack the Zionist regime has now quadrupled. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. At the end, comment and let us know what you think. Let's get right to our story. Gateway Pundit reports that a top Iranian Revolutionary Guard general predicts that Muslims will pull Americans out of embassies and military bases in the Middle East and hang them from trees. According to the report, General Mohammad Reza Nakhti, IRGC Deputy Commander for Coordination made the statement during an interview on an Iranian global TV channel last Friday, following the death of terrorist mastermind Qasem Soleimani. Nakhti was quoted as saying, starting tomorrow, or even today, they will view this nest of spies, differently. They will view the people who come and go there, in a different way. The Americans will bring the situation to a point. The pressure America exerts on the Islamic nation, will lead the peoples of the Islamic countries, to pull them out of their nests of spies, and their military bases. I can see that day, they will pull them out, and hang them blindfolded from the trees in their cities. This latest terrorist threat comes, as tensions rise dramatically in the region, with IRGC leader Hosan Salami, publicly threatening to set ablaze, places supported by the United States, inciting calls of death to Israel, from a huge crowd of supporters. Meanwhile, in Baghdad, the government has called for the expulsion of all American troops from Iraq, which analysts fear could further the violence, by allowing pro-Iranian militants from the region to mount new attacks. One News reports from New York on the escalation. A sea of hundreds of thousands of mourners galvanized by the killing of General Qasem Soleimani taking to Iran's streets today in a fierce display of nationalism. And the repercussions of his assassination by U.S. forces have begun rippling across this region. Iranian politicians chanting death to America and Tehran announcing it's suspending its commitments to the 2015 nuclear deal, saying there will now be no limits on its uranium enrichment. And in Iraq, the government expressing its outrage by voting to expel all 5,000 U.S. troops from the country. If the measure is passed by the Iraqi PM, it is an extraordinary strategic victory for Iran. It's impossible to overstate the significance of the attack that takes out Qasem Soleimani. This is bigger than bin Laden. It's bigger than Baghdadi. And as more troops deploy to the Middle East, the American-led coalition in Iraq and Syria announced it's suspending the fight against ISIS, switching instead to force protection now that 80,000 U.S. troops are targets. The president, though, unmoved, doubling down tonight on his threat to bomb Iranian cultural sites in breach of Geneva Conventions. But here in the U.S., serious questions are beginning to be raised about the strength of that U.S. intelligence which led to this highly provocative assassination, as well as the timing of the president's decision coming as lawmakers return to Washington, D.C. to continue with his impeachment. Why does he pick now to take this highly inflammatory, highly dangerous action that moves us closer to war? Thrust into an unpredictable open conflict, there are real fears here tonight about the path the president has embarked on. Rebecca Wright, One News, New York. After Tehran's face-saving failed missile attack on a U.S. target in Iraq on Tuesday, the anti-Trump-inspired second-guessing, coming from Democrats, is proving to be more about partisan politics than genuine concern for the possibility of war in the region. Despite the overwhelming military might of the U.S., yesterday's apparent wavering of the saber-rattling Iranian regime is a testament to the sanction-driven military strategy of President Trump and his bold decision to rid the world of the bloodthirsty anti-American terrorist Qasem Soleimani. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, share and subscribe and don't forget to tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on our weekly reports. Thanks for joining us.